So I'm logged into CityWorks Respond. Okay, so this is the latest version of Respond. Um, and what I'm showing you will work in Office as well. Uh, but since we're interacting with uh, web maps and Respond and so forth, I just kind of like the layout here. And it's exciting to see what is new, what some of you may not be as familiar with in, in the Respond layout and so forth. So all I'm gonna do is just zoom in. Okay, so this is just a web map. I'm gonna come to my legend and I'm gonna turn on a couple of layers, okay? And so when we're interacting with layers, if I click on one of my pipes, okay, so this is the traditional pop-up that you get in CityWorks. It's a table with you know, your attributes and the attribute organization can be set up in designer, but a lot of times, People don't realize that as well. And so it's kind of just organized however it happens to be in the GIS table. And that may not be as efficient, right? It might be harder to find a critical attribute and so forth just using the standard pop-up. If I look at my fire hydrants, okay, this pop-up has been customized. So all I did, and I'm gonna show you this in a minute, is I went into my web map settings, created a custom pop-up, and look at how much more meaningful this information is, the attributes, how better they're organized than in the standard. Okay, and what's great about this is all CityWorks is doing is we're just inheriting the pop-up settings from your web map on each one of your feature layers. Okay, I wanna point out this remaining life calculation. Okay, so I've got basic attributes, asset performance, life cycle details. I put this one in green. You can color change these. Um, and the reason I'm showing this one is because this is an, an arcade expression. So I'm doing a real-time calculation when the pop-up launches on the age of the asset, the remaining life of the asset. And again, I'll show you how you set this up in a second. Okay, the other thing we can do is we can add asset images, have those available right here. All of your attachments on the asset that get uploaded to the asset from collector or other means is also available here. So I've got just a standard hydrant reference, it's a PDF, I can click on that and it's gonna download that PDF and I can interact with maybe a standard operating procedure or other documents specific to that asset, okay? So really cool. Um, I really like custom pop-ups, it made things much easier for me as I use CityWorks. Uh, we show this a lot when we're, when we're uh, presenting CityWorks to new customers, uh, kind of a cool thing that you can take advantage of. Um, one other thing that you can do, so right here I've got a dynamic link. So again, it, it calculates on the, when I click the pop-up, I can click the link and in a new tab, this is going to take me to the CityWorks asset details page in Respond. Okay, and this is where I can get real, you know, keyed in on my asset information, my CityWorks specific asset details and costs, and then of course, the work history on that particular asset. So again, just linking things together, having things seamlessly available in, uh, you know, right at your fingertips in just a simple pop-up is really nice. Okay, let's come back to my main tab here. And I just wanna show a couple different examples. So I'm gonna come down to my parcels. We'll turn this on uh, for our PLL users, the parcel, the land information information, or the land information data is really critical. Um, and so this is just another view of the way I've set up a custom pop-up, okay? I've got you know, images from the house. This is more of a tabular view of the parcel details, right? I come down to my Walmart, okay? Real meaningful stuff, easy to interact with, all right? And so think about that uh, and how this might impact your end users and how they might be a little bit more efficient by having custom pop-ups. Okay, so now let's look and see how we do this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop open my portal for ArcGIS, okay? And we're gonna kind of go full screen here. So I've got some side-by-side -side view and, and I can show you how you do this. Um, so I'm gonna open up my web map. So this is gonna be the same. So in portal for ArcGIS or ArcGIS online, this is gonna be the same 
web map that I've assigned my user over here in CityWorks. So left-hand side, ArcGIS view of the web map, right-hand side, the CityWorks view of the web map, okay? And you can see I'm in the same uh, area, okay, right over that Walmart, okay? And I'm just gonna zoom in, we'll turn on our fire hydrants, okay? And all I'm doing is if I come to the little menu here, I go into configure pop-up, okay? And you've got this option for display. So the default is a list of filled attributes. So this is that table that everyone already has. Okay, so that's the uh, the one that we showed on the, the water main, right? We'll just kind of scroll through here. So this one right here. Okay, if you change this to a custom attribute display, you get a lot of nice tools, all right? You can come in and just start adding your own layout for your attributes. And then even more, you can add some HTML code to this. Okay, so HTML, if you want to get really, you know, creating hyperlinks and other ways to, um, to create a, a custom pop-up, okay? Um, if you're not familiar with Arcade, so Arcade is a way that you can create your own, uh, you know, do some math and other things inside of your pop-up. So this is where I'm calculating the difference between my install date of the asset and the current date to get the the age of the asset and the remaining useful life of life of it okay so arcade's another really nice tool all right and so that's all you do so all you do is just come in to um so what i want to do is i want to create a new one i'm going to do it on my sewer manhole so you can see this so my default um sewer manhole okay as they draw here this is just the standard arcgis pop-up we're going to go switch that real quick, configure our pop-up. Okay, and again, instead of showing a list, I want to do a custom attribute display. I'm going to configure that, and then I can just start typing asset ID. And then over here is where I add in those fields, so that placeholder. Okay, so maybe we'll give this bold, right? And maybe we'll do diameter. Okay, and we'll bold that. We'll go find diameter, okay? And so it's just a really nice way to organize your assets in a little bit different way to help it, help your end users be more efficient, okay? We'll click that, and now I have a custom attribute display here, okay? And this is what's great about GIS-centric and CityWorks and real-time interaction with your GIS. As I make the change over here, all I need to do is refresh my CityWorks environment and that will reload the web map. Okay, we'll go to the map view. And then here I've got, right, my custom attribute display, asset, diameter. Okay, that's really it. So just a real quick tip and trick. It sounds like none of you are doing this right now. Some of you may not have known you were able to do it but just go ahead and play with it. I know, you know, if it's like anything else we put out there, your, our customers will see this, they'll leverage it and, and turn it into something really cool. Um, for resources, just Google ArcGIS custom pop-ups. Esri has a whole bunch of, uh, of case studies and how-to guides on how you can set up some really nice dynamic pop-ups.